Hello everybody and welcome back to another JVG Class of 2013 video. My name is Jake and today I have a review of the Gigabyte Z77X D3H motherboard from Newegg. So first I'll go over a few things on the outside of the box. It has PCI Gen 3, of course the M connect, uh, MSATA connector on board, NVIDIA SLI, it is ultra durable, has protection for humidity, electrostatic discharge, power failure, and high temperature protection. So even if you're running at a decent load, your motherboard is not going to get too hot. And it has a new glass fabric PCB, which I have actually not seen before. We have a 3D BIOS, dual UEF UEFI BIOS, which actually you have mouse control and which is very nice. You have access to nearly every single feature has unlocked performance with Intel KSKU CPUs. So the i7 3770K, 4770K, etc. gives you much more overclocking abilities. Now flipping over to the back, it has everything that I basically just said with the new glass fabric PCB for humidity protection, electrostatic protection, power failure, and high temperatures. Here of course we show, or it shows some of the 3D BIOS features with the UEFI dual BIOS technology with the full mouse control as well as the basic things on the back. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare there. And I will go ahead and flip the box over and get right into it. So first off, of course, we have the installation guidebook, the user's manual, and then of course we have all the needed accessories. Here is a standard SLI bridge that is included with the input output shield looks like we get four black SATA cables one with the right angle or two with the right angle and right underneath we have the motherboard which I have already taken out of the electrostatic box just for uh, time so we'll go ahead and lift it out here uh, set it down and we'll close the box and not care about the side lids for now. Anyways, going right into the motherboard, here it is. First we start with a matte black fabric or glass fabric PCB and the blue. And it looks very nice. Gigabyte has that tendency to make motherboards look really sleek and classy. First we'll start off at the very bottom. We have front panel audio, Japanese capacitors just letting you know that they are pretty solid and that they won't overheat. Then we have the front USB and or the two front USB connectors, the front panel connector and a system fan four pin header. And then right down here we have SATA three connectors. It looks like we have two here, two here, two here, and two here. So a total of eight SATA connectors for all of your devices such as your hard drives and your disk drives. Right behind that we have the Gigabyte Southbridge with the very nice blue heat sink. Looks very classy. Not, nothing too fancy, but it does the job. Right above that, we have a serial ATA marker, just saying it gives you six gigabits per second, which is very nice. As long as, as well as a front USB 3.0. Right on the right hand side, we have the 24-pin power connector, and right behind that, we have the four DIMM slots for 240-pin RAM up to 1900 megahertz. Right. Above that, we have the CPU fan header. And then across from that, we have the another or another system fan 4-pin header. And the, of course, all-important 8-pin power connector for the CPU. Then I will go ahead and go just right down the side. Here is the other Northbridge CPU heatsink. Very nice blue. Pretty symmetrical, I guess. I'm a little bit OCD, but it looks great. As far as I know, it does the job, so we'll see how it goes. And of course, go back down the side, it has ATI Radeon Crossfire and an NVIDIA SLI. It also has one, two, and three PCI slots, so you can have up to three graphics cards in SLI, and three in Crossfire, or two in cross Crossfire, or etc. I'll go ahead and switch over to the side. Right down here we have the usual audio connectors, uh, let me lift it up there, as well as six USB 3.0 connectors and an Ethernet connector. Then to the left of that we have HDMI, VGA, DVI out, 
as well as a PS2 and two USB 2.0 ports. So of course, everybody's probably going to use the 3.0 ports, but that's pretty much it for the side. And of course, it features an LGA 1155 socket. So in this pro in this motherboard, I'm going to be installing an i7-3770K processor, which I will be getting sometime next week. And uh, and then we'll and then we'll see and then I'll put that in and I'll install it and I'll show you how that's all done as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching this review and unboxing of the Gigabyte Z77X D3H motherboard. I was thinking about upgrading to the UD3H, which actually has a little bit more features, such as a debug LED, a CMOS switch, and a power button right up here in the top corner but this is just the lower end version I'm gonna say overall it has three system fan headers one CPU fan connector enough support up to 30 gi 32 gigs of RAM three cards in SLI or Crossfire and an LGA 1155 processor that you can easily overclock because of the motherboards capacities with um, Intel K SKU, SKU model processors. So that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in a few days.